Kneeling for the national anthem in a free country is not that brave. You might lose a sponsorship. You might gain a sponsorship, as we've seen, even if you're a third-rate player. It's not brave. Protesting in the streets against a violent authoritarian government, accepting full well the risk of being murdered by said government for doing so, is brave. Question of the day. When it comes to the recent conflict over the NBA supporting China, uh, do you see any irony in the progressive companies who are supporting an authoritarian co- communist? You know what? Scratch that. Of course you do. Yeah. Yeah. I know I know the answer. Yeah. So let me change the question. Who do you think is the most hypocritical offender as it relates to wokeness in their handling of the Hong Kong-China conflict? Okay? Let me know. Let me uh, sort of set the stage here. Yeah. For those who don't know, recently the NBA, other United States companies, they voiced support for China. And some of them have denounced any kind of support for Hong Kong protesters. Why does it matter? Well, what we have here, you need to understand the conflict. We have Chinese authoritarians versus the people of Hong Kong who really are actively fighting for democracy. Quick kind of recent history lesson. Uh, The British handed uh, Hong Kong uh, back to China relatively recently. They've had a one country kind of two systems agreement to give Hong Kong residents some measure of independence from China. Protests started when Hong Kong was set to pass a bill allowing individuals to be extradited to China. This is important. It's not like extraditing yeah. rapists. No. Right? It's not because I, I think if you said the United States can extradite rapists and murderers from Mexico, people would be like, ah, well, due process, but yeah. okay, I understand. The, this is really right, just yeah. about extraditing protesters. Yeah. Okay, yeah. dissidents. That's important. They're creating a law so that they can forcibly remove and punish people who protest the government. Well, let me be clear <laughs> Before we get to some clips from the NBA, uh, the, the Hong Kong protesters are asking for a few things, okay? Uh, including China withdraw uh, the extradition, the bill that involves the extradition. Yeah. Um, they want charges against the protesters to be dropped. Uh, they want to, uh, them to investigate the police's use of force during the protest, yeah. and they want to ultimately allow Hong Kong voters to pick their leaders rather than the current process, which includes sort of Beijing's involvement. For those of you who missed it, you've seen uh, some footage. Here's some more. America's stars and stripes, paraded by Hong Kong protesters angry at their government, stood out starkly in the city on Chinese soil. Many fear their freedoms are being eroded by communist China, and the U.S. might be the only superpower to stop it. Protesters held up posters of Donald Trump and sang the American national anthem. Donald Trump don't trust China. China is asshole. See, we got touching, we pulled the heartstrings, and then we just shoehorned in my favorite clip of the year. China is asshole cartoonishly Asian man. <laughs> so obviously the sure. protests, uh, by the way, they erupted into violence. There's even some footage of, of Chinese police shooting protesters point blank. Warning here, this isn't a trigger warning, this is a warning of actual potential graphic content that we've blurred it out and removed some of the sound. Uh, cops shooting protesters point blank in the chest. <laughs> Now, I I wanted to show you all that because it's very important that we set the context here uh, before enter stage left, the ultra-woke members of the NBA. So let's get to this because some people have complained about it, but I don't think they've put this all together necessarily to see how... how, um, Sinister it really can be. So initially, the Houston Rockets, right? General manager. Uh, how do you pronounce it? Daryl? Uh, Daryl? Maury? Maury? I, I've only ever read know. it. Anyway, he tweeted support for the Hong Kong protest. So yeah. good. Good for him. Yeah. yeah. After the tweet, unsurprisingly, Chinese companies began cutting ties with the team, and the Chinese media suspended broadcasts of NBA games. And by the way, it should be noted that uh, well, Houston pretty popular in China because yeah. of uh, one Yao Ming. Yao Ming, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's right. The very tall Chinese good. guy. You, you guys got him. You You finally got one in there. So he was forced to apologize, right? Yeah. Then a lot of NBA officials and players came out, and this is important. I want you to watch this clip because it's not just, all right, I'm sorry. They came out in support of China. Listen to the language here. I apologize. Um, You know, know, we love China. We love, you know, playing there. Uh, I know for for both of us individually, we go there, you know, once or twice a year. Uh, They show us the most important love. So, you know, we appreciate them as a fan base and, uh, we love everything you know they're about, and and, uh, and you know we appreciate the support that they give us individually and as an organization. So listen, we uh, we appreciate, wow. we love everything they're about. Yeah. As an organization, it'd be one thing if they said, "Hey, we understand that the Chinese people aren't necessarily represented by the government or by the organizations there." No, he said, "We look like everything they're yeah. about." <laughs> How about putting a hedge word yeah. in there while you're conversating? <laughs> <laughs> And now the oh NBA is forcibly ejecting uh, people who, who even bring Hong Kong uh, sci- or pro Hong Kong signs to games. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. So, 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 so,
Are you guys someone wanna put away or I can take it? I understand you're doing your okay. job, sir. Totally. Just Captain One Arena. We understand we respect your your freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. uh, we are just no, personally not having we don't have any stance on it until we're just asking uh, no one is any signage related to that being in here tonight. Don't trust NBA Asha, he's asshole. <laughs> and this isn't just what about I want to sort of lay a case here as to why this is important. And it's not just the NBA. It goes to at the entertainment industry, big tech, and academia. But let's start yeah. with the NBA. Okay, let's compare this with the NBA's previous sort of woke virtue signaling, where they, they pulled out. Remember this from an All Star game yeah. uh, in in Charlotte, North Carolina, because of the state's laws regarding gender neutral bathrooms. Yeah, they pulled out. NBA coach Steve Kerr, who he was extremely vocal, by the way, in condemning Trump's so-called yeah. Muslim ban. Obviously, we know, right now we don't have that much time. But he claims that no one has asked him about the Chinese human rights abuses. And instead, he tries to turn the tables and he talks about the United States human rights abuses, something, 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 or other AR-15s. Watch. People in China didn't ask me about, uh, you know, people owning AR-15s and mowing each other down in a mall. I wasn't asked that question. It's a little different when you have individuals wow. who commit crimes in the United yeah. States versus the government who's right. run people over with tanks yeah. and fired upon protesters yeah. at point blank in the chest. So I get it, I get it. You don't like Trump, you think he's a dick, but all of China is ass <laughs> As I said a minute ago, yes. It's not the same thing. <laughs> and, it, and it's not just the Hong Kong issue that's yeah. important to note. Across the board, China, they have one of the worst human rights records in, in the history of the world. Yeah. Let's walk through this. They, they hog tie women during forced abortion. Uh, of course, wow. they jail political dissidents. They demolish Christian churches. And lest you say, oh, oh, oh you're, this is your bias, they also uh, not only confiscate Bibles and Christians, torture Muslim Uyghurs in detention yeah. camps. Yes, Uyghurs, Uyghurs, who, by the way, can also be found in the NBA. Lest you, no, no, that's not. Oh, Uyghurs geez. are Chinese Muslims, quarter black Garrett. Oh, I'm sorry. Carl oh, Frohler is this. Okay. Jeez. Uyghurs are Chinese Muslims. <laughs> no word yet, by the way, whether, on whether uh, the men of China can slap on rouge and take a dump in the girls' room, but <laughs> here's holding out hope. That'll be the line they cannot cross. It's just amazing to me. You're gonna Because a man can't go in a woman's restroom at a restaurant. You're going to pull your all-star game when people are getting punched in the stomach, tied to a table because they have the nerve to have a second child. Yeah. All of a sudden, we're murky on the rule book. Oh, my gosh. And this is important to know, it's not just the NBA, they've taken the most flack, there are other uh, American companies as well as um, organizations. So um, I'm trying to think of other uh, woke and progressive companies. Oh, remember, uh, remember uh, 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 Nike, Nike, Nike. Oh, for those who for, who forgotten, you remember Nike's woke ad campaign led by uh, Sideshow Kaepernick? <laughs> Don't believe you have to be like anybody to be somebody. Don't become the best basketball player on the planet. Be bigger than basketball. Believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. Totally unrelated, but he looks like a guy who's picked his afro beyond its natural ability. It, it did look pretty good. You've gone good. too like, far. Yes, you've pulled it too far. Tighten it up a little bit. <laughs> Garrett could do that. Go for microphone top, not Richard Simmons. Yeah. That's the general <laughs> rule of thumb. Uh, anyway, for people who it. forgot, Nike, n oh. who didn't know, Nike has now pulled the Houston Rockets merchandise from Chinese stores wow. as well as shoes from any pro Hong Kong designers. Wow. Oh. That's wow. pretty crazy to me. Yeah. You're I pulling shoes from just designers who happen to be pro Hong Kong. Yeah. Um, I, I, re I really hope the NBA suffers for this because I, I generally don't like the NBA um, as a rule. But you even if the I the WNBA. Did, well, for the WNBA is a, is a sin I cannot look past. But <laughs> <laughs> the, the NBA, and I, they're getting it on both sides right now. China is giving them all kinds of crap. Obviously, we're talking about that. And then people in the United States are like, what the hell? We thought you guys cared about people's rights. We thought you cared about us in general, and now you don't at all. They're alienating fans on both sides, and I'm like, good, you screwed up. You had an obvious choice to well, make, and you made the wrong one. Well, I don't think it's screwed up. I'm glad that the curtain is being pulled back. Yeah, yeah. People they, are saying they, this, is, this is about a financial they bottom They showed the wrong line, face is what I'm elitists, saying, screwed up, yeah. Uh, it really isn't about human rights. By the no. way, speaking of rights, hit the notification bell if you're subscribed on YouTube. Just really bookmark the page because notifications don't work anymore. Check in, new video every single day at nine, live stream on Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern, and join Mug Club, ladoscrider.com slash Mug Club. That's what keeps this open. There's a whole other episode uh, up today behind yeah, the, the yeah. paywall for my club. So it doesn't just end with sports. The entertainment industry, they're in on this deal mm -hmm. too. So do you remember when Disney, they threatened to stop filming in Georgia? At the same time, 
Disney. They were partnering with state-owned Chinese corporations to open a $5.5 billion resort in Shanghai. <laughs> what about the ultra-woke world of academia? Yeah. And I don't want to get conspiratorial. I want you to check out all these sources. Turns out that some of the same schools who you know have a meltdown every single time a conservative looks in their general direction, they've been taking over $158 million collectively from the Chinese government to promote pro-China pr propaganda. And then we can go to the video game industry. They always, you know, the quarter black here, you're the video gamer. Why do they always screw up the video game industry? Yeah, like, I don't it know, is just a, I've been it's asking a, for a long time. Bruh? It's like two, two yeah. industries that are licensed to print money. Yeah. Video games and cannabis. Yeah. They and I don't know why <laughs> they can't get it together. I, they can't get it together. <laughs> it's because they combine the two too it's often. It's practically a yeah. lottery. <laughs> Anyway, la last week, gaming company uh, Blizzard, a lot of yeah. you probably, I remember them back from uh, uh, early on, it was like StarCraft, and or even before that, there was a game called Blackthorn on Super Nintendo. Does anyone else remember that? I liked that game. Anyway, Blackthorn. Blizzard. Yeah, I have, we'll, we'll play it later. We'll play it in the green room. Okay. I have it. I have the original, I have the cartridge. No emulators Ooh. here. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Emulators is for original. ass <laughs> so Blizzard, <laughs> they banned a player, took away his prize money after he voiced support for Hong Kong in an interview. Wow. After people protested the decision, uh, Blizzard overturned it, stating that the ban had nothing to do with China. All right, we'll take them at their uh, we'll take them at the word on that one. We'll move on because there are other companies to get to to tar right, and feather. Yeah. Sure, Apple we'll and Microsoft me. they've banned uh, Hong Kong protest apps, apps that actually have assisted people with protests. Google they wow. recently censored material for China. Now keep in mind. This is the same company that has openly changed policies, thanks to yours truly, I apologize again, as it relates to hate speech guidelines, <laughs> should someone cause an affront to the LGBTQ AAIP community by using yes. one's biologically proper pronouns. God forbid. YouTube has changed, Google has changed their you. algorithms for that. By the, way, hey, by the way, while we're talking about that, what's the Chinese government's view on LGBTQ rights? That's a good question. Hmm. Anyone know? Anyway, want to guess? Take a wild guess. Not, not good. Not good. Yes, there yeah. we Thank go. Thank you very much, <laughs> Gerald. <laughs> Gold star. Regular... Gold star for the ass. Yay! <laughs> marriage, gay marriage is illegal. Yeah. Gays can be discriminated against in housing. Them. And by the way, I don't mean like don't ask, don't tell. Right. I mean like tell, you die. That's the policy. Yeah. You tell, you die now. Yeah. <laughs> it's not right. You die now. So uh, <laughs> discriminate against housing, military. They can't adopt. And as far as I know, you can only get your, 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 your change your gender if you get a full Full surgery, full the top full and bottom. Deal, yeah. yeah, which basically that's cheap. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't. The full top and bottom. Which, let's be honest, if they're gymnasts, <laughs> who can tell the difference? I mean, yeah. Here's the thing, right? They're not racist. The United States is more racist than China, right, namely yeah. because we have more races than China. But uh, they actually, when when given the opportunity to be racist or discriminatory, they force Muslims to drink alcohol, eat pork. This has oh, happened. Wow, really? They force shopkeepers. Yeah, in China, they force shopkeepers to sell alcohol and tobacco, even if they're Muslim shopkeepers. Again, the Uyghurs, U Y yeah, oh, quarter oh, black carrot. Oh. And this is something. They got Skip it wrong. Communist China, authoritarian. But the reason they do that is they recognize the political threat that Islam presents, so they shut it down outright because they see Islam as a political prescription, which is incompatible right. with China. Whereas here in the United States, when uh, uh, Dr. Ben Carson said, I don't think that the Quran and Sharia law is compatible with the United States Constitution, people absolutely lost their mind. Yeah. Right. Gosh. But we say, hold on a second, you don't need four witnesses for rape. Sharia law says you do. He was 100% correct. I want to be really clear about something here because we do have to get to James O'Keefe in yeah. just one second. I want to be really clear. This isn't whataboutism, okay? This isn't, well, Donald Surge, some of Donald Trump's policies are bad, but China's worse. Why don't they care about, no, no. This is, this is a, there is no comparison-ism, right. okay? This is, um, let's, let's, you have one world leader, okay, you don't like Donald Trump because of his attitude and his tweets. I understand that. The other is a government that perpetually and systematically abuses its citizens' most fundamental basic human rights by force on a regular basis. Not what about ism. It's you don't have a moral lens through which to establish your worldview ism. I'll come up with a lot of isms right now. I'm on a roll. Worst of all, worst of all, it's cowardice. It's cowardice cloaked as virtue. The same industries, by the way, that they pat themselves on the back for being brave. No. Okay. Listen, kneeling for the national anthem in a free country is not that brave. You might lose a sponsorship. You might gain a sponsorship as we've seen, even yeah. if you're a third rate player. It's not brave. Protesting in the streets against a violent authoritarian government, except Accepting full well the risk of being murdered by said government for doing so is brave. Mm -hmm. And you know what, NBA? You know what, Apple, Google, Microsoft, Facebook, the like, you know what? In order to be brave, here's the beauty right now. You don't even have to do that. You don't even have to stand up against an authoritarian government that would kill you. You just have to grow the balls to not throw the people under the bus as they are actually fighting for their freedom. All you have to do to be brave right now is throw a little bit of support their way. But you won't do it because you're all cowards. And I guess that's why you kneel for our anthem and the American flag while these freedom fighters wave it bravely overhead. Hong Kong, I know there's not that much I can do for you, but know that we hear you and we appreciate you. Yeah, and yes, China is ass.
Hey, hey, I hope you enjoyed this clip. If you don't, these are the ABCs of me, baby. You can just click next video and put it in double speed. Of course, search doesn't necessarily work. Subscriptions, notifications don't necessarily work. Just bookmark this page, check in. We do a new video every single day, except for Sunday. And if you don't want this content to disappear, join Mug Club at lighterwithcredit.com slash mug club. It's only $69 if you're a student, veteran, or active military. And um, if you don't, you know, listen, I, I don't want to say that you're hellbound, but it, that doesn't look good for you.